Hi everybody, this is Cheryl with Clientele. I am really happy to have this incredible and beautiful guest, Lorena Anderson, who has been with us before. If you haven't watched it, go back in the archives and watch the first video interview she did with us. She gave us so many life tips because a lot of us, I have to say, don't know how to do life. And I used to be one of those people. I'm still learning, still learning. Every single day it's an education. But I want to introduce Lorena Anderson to you, life coach, ishiftyourenergy.com and also on Instagram. That's how we find her. And I think there's another way too that she's going to tell us about. I want to say hi, Lorena. Hi, thank you so much for having me again. I have to tell you, I feel very honored and very privileged to be a part of this broadcast. So thank you. Oh my gosh, we're, we're thrilled that you're here. So tell us about a little bit about what you do and let's go straight into a lesson for us on some great tips to do life. Okay, that sounds wonderful. One of the very first things that is absolutely essential is learning how to breathe. Most of us breathe from down here and up. So we miss this whole long filling of our lungs, which is absolutely essential in being able to quiet the mind, to be present in the moment, to have access to your intuition. And the intuition is something that that small inner voice that is always talking to you, always guiding you, uh, always protecting you. So it's really, really essential to be able to quiet the mind, relax into the body, breathe deeply down into the belly. And one of the ways that you want to do that is by pretending like you've got a big balloon in your belly. And when you breathe in, I want you to fill up that balloon. And as you breathe out, I want you to pierce your lips and empty out that balloon, collapse that tummy all the way. And when you get down to the bottom, you hold it for two seconds and do this for at least three times in a row. And you become then more present, more grounded. And you also have that access to your intuition into what it is that you need to do next. Where do you need to go? What kind of decisions do you need to make? And breathing and coming down in your body allows you to access that. It also allows you to access your internal energy field. Well, I have to tell you that I am a singer. So I have been trained to breathe. It's from your diaphragm that you're speaking of. So I've been trained to breathe that way, but so exactly. many people don't know how. So this is great lesson right now. And yes, I, and most singers do breathe from their most diaphragm. of the singers do know how to, how to sing from that from the diaphragm, how to breathe all the way down into the belly. And you know, we get so caught up in our head that many times we go into confusion or we become uh, delusional with what we think think might happen in our future while trying to identify what's happened in the past to lead us. Well, we can't use our past to lead us. We can use the wisdom that we've learned from it, but it's not going to create our future. And the only time that we have available to us in order to create that future is by being present in the moment because that's where everything happens. Well, that's one thing that is really, you talked before about meditation and mm -hmm. getting our mind into that peaceful place where we yes. can make a lot of decisions. So is that a connection to what you're talking about right now? Absolutely. What I teach is an eyes open meditation because so many people have a difficult time quieting the mind. I mean, I used to meditate for like 20 years and couldn't shut shut this thing up. But once I learned this technique of being present, of breathing into the body, feeling the internal energy field, and then um, being more aware, almost like the silent witness, being aware of myself sitting there, and then opening my eyes gently and just noticing 
I was still feeling my body, feeling what was going on, so aware of the sounds, and the mind just quiets them. And when that mind quiets, quiets that's when you, re, you, you reduce the stress. You relax. It relaxes your cardiovascular system. It relaxes your, your uh, nervous system. And you get to be 100% in the body. And the body's always talking to you. Yes, so we can do this basically anywhere. So we don't have to be outside and amongst the, you know, the peaceful trees and the birds and so forth and so on. You can stop. You can be on a plane. You can do it anywhere. You just have to be trained to do it is what you're saying. The more, yes, and the more you do it, the more present you become. It's just practice. And you're right. You don't have to go off someplace and, and or be on top of a mountain or <laughs> sit with your legs crossed, you know, and, and chanting. Mm-hmm. No, you get to be in that present moment, totally aware, more focused, more alert, and, and more connected to that heart energy, to your intuition. So with these first two steps that you're talking about breathing, very mm-hmm. important. We, you know, a lot of us breathe so shallow. So yes. you're talking about just really filling up that diaphragm. Yeah, filling up in, that belly. Exactly, releasing it, etc., And then just getting into a place of meditation when you're just completely overwhelmed, when you feel stressed, when you're pre-programming something that's going to happen that doesn't necessarily have to happen, but you're making it happen in your head. Exactly. You're projecting all over it. (laughs) Exactly. So a lot of the times, Lorena, would you say that we create all that fear, all that anxiety when it really doesn't even belong there? Well, let me ask you this. Do you create your reality? Yes. Okay. So yes, we do create. (laughs) We're always creating because we're energy field. So Our thoughts and our feelings are what creates through our intentions. What do we want to have happen? And so often it seems as if we play victim to outside circumstances, to to other people, to our companies or our families, instead of realizing that this is your, your life. How do you want to create it? And where do you want to create it from? You want to create it from ego? Or do you want to create it from your heart space? Mm, mm. That's a great and, point. Yeah. And, and it's really, mm. it's so interesting because I will ask people, you know, my clients, okay, um, you're making this decision and where are you coming from? Are you coming from ego or are you coming from your spirit? And if you're coming from your spirit, what would that say? What, what might the the questions be from spirit versus your ego, because it's so easy to climb into your ego and get all caught up in judgment and pointing fingers and you did this to me and, and blaming and shaming. And then I just switch it and I said, okay, and what would spirit say? If you create your reality, then who's responsible? You know, there are no victims. I know there are no victims. And the reason why I say that is that if if you take full responsibility for creating your your reality and what you want to have happen, then there can't be any victims because there are no accidents. Everything that you've ever done in your life has brought you to this time and space. It's allowed you to grow. I, you know, people say, oh, I made this mistake and that mistake. And I said, oh, sweetheart, those are growth opportunities. What have you learned about yourself that's brand new that you didn't know before this time? I mean, and COVID is such a perfect um, segue for that because it's the unknown. Nobody knew a year ago what we were going to be going through. The pain, the hurt, the anguish, the fear. However, look at us today, though. One foot in front of the other. We never stopped. You know, we might have slowed down. The stress might have eaten us uh, up many times, but we've managed through it, through all of it. So now is the time to start giving yourself praise and acknowledgement and honor 
for everything that you've ever done to get yourself here. That's right. As I said, there, there are no mistakes. There's growth opportunities. Everything has made, given you that, that ability of stepping more into your power, more into your brilliance, more into your creativity, and made you feel more alive than ever. And I will agree completely. Now, I'm not an expert. I'm just a person. But just from <laughs> life experience, I have to say that ego, to your point, leads us down the wrong path. It always lies to us. It never tells us the truth. And I know that that's exactly what Lorena is explaining to you, that if you're coming from your own spirit, as she says, and your reality, you're going to be in a much healthier frame of mind, able to take on any task. Would, would that be correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. And not only that, but when, when you decide that you're going to come from spirit, it's amazing how all the other people around you awaken as well. You know, it's just too easy for somebody to go into the pain and the misery and the, the, the victimization of woe is me. But when you don't allow yourself to do that, all of a sudden others around you recognize it and they think to themselves, oh my goodness, there's something different about you. I, I don't know what it is. Did you get your hair done? <laughs> Did you get, is this new makeup? <laughs> you know, for a female. <laughs> because it feels different. And you know, it's so important to remember that we are feeling beings. We, we feel that's part of the, the beauty about who we are. You know, we're not thinking beings. We use our thoughts to get to a feeling. So we either want more of this because it feels really good or we don't want any more of that because it doesn't. But we have yet to learn the difference about what is going to allow your spirit to shine. Exactly. And everybody, these are such great points. I want you to like and share them, please, because you have people that you love. You have people that you care about. You have people that you like. You, you have people that maybe you don't care about so much, but they need to know this because you need to bless them. That's how we should live. We need to bless the people that maybe are not our champions, send good stuff their way. And this is good stuff. So we thank you so much, Lorena. And you know, I'm going to ask you kind of a goofy question. <laughs> let's let's talk about a, a quick segue for a minute. Let's talk about feeling good, period. Now, you talked about all the ways in which we can do that through breathing, through meditation, through, you know, realizing who you are, being positive about who you are and your place in life, not taking your past and bringing it into your present, but being in your present, all of these phenomenal Phenomenal tips, everybody. Um, tell us about some of your internal care that you do so that you can get yourself into a better frame of mind. Well, you know something? I really believe that when you are feeling really good on the inside, that you begin to shine. And the best way that I know to continue that shine and allow the best of me to come to the forefront in my image is by um, doing one of your facials, by the way, oh, <laughs> you know, <funny. laughs> I, I love that. I mean, it's like a mini facelift. And I, I've got to tell you, when you look in the mirror, it feels so good to be able to see that, that, you know, less wrinkles, <laughs> you know, a, a brighter face to see that in the mirror. And it always makes you feel good. And it gives you, uh, it makes you feel younger and more with more vitality and, and more zest for life. And that's one of the things that I really do enjoy here. This is my own little package. That's hysterical. I, I Absolutely. Have that so much because Lorena, it's so true. When you, when you feel good inside and that reflects on the outside and then you also do something wonderful like clientele's facial mask. I know it sounds like a commercial, everybody, but that makes you <laughs> feel so confident. Like, wow, I because I did it before I went on camera, and I've got to tell you, my face feels, oh, tight and wonderful. 
firm and smooth and it's like ah, I love it. it feels yes. so good. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So and and it's really important, you know, this is self-care. All right. This isn't turning around and pampering yourself. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with you taking great care of yourself uh, because you're feeling so good about who you are. And because of that, you want to take good care of yourself. I mean, it, it's circular, you know, it, just like energy. And we're, we're circuitry. So, you know, we're always creating and attracting. And how are we creating and attracting? How are we bringing into us what we want most? And how are we showing up out there in the world? And I've got to tell you, the, the, that the clientele, the, the facial, is one of the best ways to do that. And I'm, well, I hope this doesn't sound like any kind of commercial. It probably I'm just telling does. the truth. But that's okay. I, I just want to, first of all, ask everybody, because we're going to get back to the mask in one moment, but I want to ask everybody to please get in touch with Lorena, because if you are struggling and you feel stuck and you do not know what to do to move forward, especially coming out of this season with COVID or anything that you are, any trial or tribulation that you're going through, please call Arena because she's going to sort of uh, kind of right the wrong, like a, a chiropractor. You're going to adjust it and show us the ways to, you know, kind of straighten up and straighten out and go, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready to go forward. I'm ready to take on the next venture. So please call yes. her. How do we get in touch with you? Uh, you can email me at la at ishiftyourenergy.com. You can go on my website. I would love to hear from you. And Lorena is available not only all over the country, but all over the world. If you're calling from another country, you can still reach her. And I just yes. went back to this super quick, if I may, because as Lorena said, this is something, and this was actually the door opener in our line, in the very beginning, in clientele's line, from the dermatologist, very, very, very famous dermatologist, Dr. Victor Witten, that our founder studied under. And because he, she studied with him, he allowed her to use his formulation. And this is something that all the, I don't even know if you know this, Lorena, all the celebrities from all over the world and top executives, whatever, whoever they were, flew in for this treatment and we have it. So wow. you're going to be as excited as Lorena and me, because I'm like literally bouncing up and down in my chair <laughs> to, to tell you how amazing lifting and firming and tightening and hydrating and diminishing pores and evening out your skin tone and your makeup will go on smoothly your products will absorb you're going to feel good and that's what we're about so yes. Lorena, i just want to thank you for today's incredible tips reach out to Lorena anderson you know how and replay this and send it to everybody because she is such a treasure thank you so much Lorena. Thank you. Have a blessed day, everybody. Okay, bye, everyone. Join Thank you. <laughs> bye. Bye.